on YouTube. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And it's that time. A little cold out here. A little bit. See the, see the sun out. But I'm in the shade. It's a little, little nippy or whatnot. Uh, it's about 1.30 p.m. And uh, today we're going to cook some something I've never seen before. A boneless pork chop wrapped in bacon and pan sausage. Pan sausage in the middle. The the pork chop is kind of folded over and the bacon is wrapped around. I saw it in a meat shop when I was in uh, Albany, Georgia. And I was like, shoot, let me try that out. I ain't never tried it. So the guy was telling me how to cook it, put it in aluminum foil, put it in the oven and all that. And I was like, uh-uh. Keep the smoke rolling, baby. So we're going to try this thing on the grill today. Parting this doggone loud ass truck right here. Messing up my video. But anyway, shout out to the folks that are uh, scavenging and scout. You can see them right there. Looking through the neighborhood for some steel or metal stuff like that. Shout out to them guys too. I don't, I don't knock your hustle. Hey, whatever you do to provide for the family is what you gotta do. But anyway, back to this this meat video. Barbecue. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try something different. I don't know if you can see the smoke rolling. Uh show you something real quick. Have you ever seen one of these? If you haven't, go to Lowe's Home Depot. It's in the section, I think, uh, by Weber. Uh, I don't think Weber sells this, but it's in the same section by barbecue. Come with a little metal lid, and it's an empty top. Empty little canister, whatever. Bet you're wondering what this is used for. Got some little holes in it, you can see through it. So does the top, right? It's kind of old and uh, used, because I use it a lot when I'm using it on my web or sometimes. But what it's used for is using wood chips. You know, I know if you go in the store, you see people uh, buying wood chips, wood chunks, actual logs. What well, the difference is wood chips burn real quick when you stick them right on the, uh, your charcoal um, when you want that wood smell. So what you do is you just take a bag, pour wood chips in here. Um, I will show you. I will try to show you. Um, I'm just going to fill this up with some cherry. I got some, you know what? Let's do apple. I think I got some apple. We're gonna try whatever flavor I got. I tell you what I got when I fill it up. Right when I get ready to uh, put the meat on, um, we're gonna fill this up. With wood chips, dry wood chips. Don't soak them in no doggone water. You're wasting your time. Stick the lid on there, and you just stick it in there. I'm gonna stick this right over the fire. I'm using my slow and sear. Still getting used to this and how it burns. I'm not gonna put no water in there, no liquid whatsoever and just see the difference in how it cooks. So it's not a review on that, it's just me testing it out. Uh, love playing with new toys, just messing around. Um, trying to find the best way to use it, um, whatnot. But get you one of these, man. If you don't have a big grill, and you not you don't have a stick burner, as they call it, and that's the, uh, the big propane tanks that they turn into grills, or something that you can use to burn, burn wood in, and you got a little Weber kettle, get you one of these, man. This thing, you just as good, wood chips. Allow them to burn real slow, and it catches all of the uh, the end of it. It'll be real black and charred once the cook is done. And you just take it out, pull it in the trash, and on to the next cook. But anyway, enough about this. Let's go in this kitchen and uh, let me show you what we got going on. Because I've never seen one of these. I mean, it makes sense. You can wrap bacon in anything. Pork loins. Yeah, you can wrap bacon around the rib if you wanted to. If you really that in uh, uh thought about doing it. Hmm. Gives me an idea, but anyway, on to the next. So yeah, we're gonna go in this kitchen and go and get started, man. Don't try not to make this video too long. Just want to show y'all what we're cooking with and a new concoction for me. Never seen it. Uh, bacon wrap, pork chop, seen that, but not with pan sausage. Man. We're gonna cook two of them, two different ways, uh, two different seasons rather, and then we're gonna get started. See you in the kitchen. All right, y'all, we back, and uh, like I said. Let me show y'all this real quick, see if I can get a zoom in, see what it costs. Right? About $10 for this. But this, like I said, is going to be your bacon. What is it? Bacon wrapped uh, pork chop with pan sausage in it. Never heard of that. Saw it at the meat store when I was in uh, Albany, Georgia, uh, where I'm from. So I figured, hey, why not buy two of them and then just see what they do. I'm gonna do some different seasoning on there. I'm going to try some of this. See if you can see that. Carol's Sweet Barbecue Season. I saw that in Sylvester, Georgia at a store. So if you're going through that, man, this stuff tastes good as I don't know what. Uh, I'm going to do that on one. 
I'm gonna use extra virgin oil on that one just for the uh, the seasoning to stick. On on the other one, I'm gonna use just standard nature seasoning. Um, I'm gonna use yellow mustard, kind of what you put on ribs. It's pork, so I'm gonna put that on there. We're gonna see what's happening, man. But key is these two ingredients right here. When you want seasoning to stick the meat, you can use either one of these as a coating. You won't taste the oil and you won't taste the mustard. Trust me, when you do that. A lot of people put mustard on their ribs after they pull the, the membrane out the back and then uh, they put the seasoning on there and whatnot, and then we go from there. So we back once I opened this, uh, this up. I was traveling with it so you can see the saran wrap on it. I don't know if you can see that or whatnot um, on there as well. And then uh, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to show you what they look like before I season them. Be back in a minute. All right, we're back. This is how the saran, saran wrap. Now you can probably see the label a little better. Uh, it's about $4.99 mm, $4 a pound. And each one of them roughly, is roughly about a pound uh, when they weigh them. So let's see what they look like. This is what's crazy. I'm going to put them on paper so you can see it. But, oh, they wrapped them in uh, saran wrap as well. But like I said, this is bacon wrapped around a pork chop, boneless pork chop, and it's got pan sausage in there. You can see the pan sausage on there. Well, we're gonna try this out and see how they come out. Like I said, I'm gonna season them two different ways. Uh, as I told you earlier, and we're gonna see what they come out like. You've never seen this before, and I'll be the first to admit when when I haven't seen something, but I'm all about trying something new. So. Bear with me as I season this, and then we're going to come back uh, when I'm at the grill, and then we're going to go from now. Keep in mind, like I said, simple seasoning, uh, virgin oil on one with the sweet barbecue seasoning from Carol's Sausage Country Stores and Sylvester. I just saw it on the corner one day and stopped and was like, let me buy some meat. Um, support all my uh, meat shops, especially when I'm barbecuing. I don't just go to one specific one. And then the standard nature seasoning from Morton's. And some standard. This is French's yellow mustard. This is spicy, but who cares? Whatever. You won't taste the mustard at all uh, on the other one. And then we'll be back at the grill. See you. All right, real quick. Remember when I was telling you about them wood chips? Bam. I got some mesquite. Got some apple. And I got some cherry. Pick which one? A, B, or C. Anyway, I'm going to go with, I think mesquite's used perfectly for uh, beef. So, eh, throw it out the way. Cherry goes good on everything, especially ribs. When you want that, that uh, bright or deep red color, go with this. And apple going to give it a sweet taste um, or a light smoke. So guess what? Hey, if you look on the back, it'll show you. I'm dropping my wood chips. I don't know if you see that, but it'll show you a little thing on there on what, what it's best for. We cooking with pork. See, the apple is fine. With cherry? Cherry is fine. Uh, had you cooked with apple in a while, so guess what we're using today? Some doggone apple. So, all you do is simple. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to do this without making this video too long. And uh, let me get my little tray. Take the top off. Simple. Fill it up. You get the gist of it. Got wood chips everywhere. It's all good. They going in the fire too. Simple. Put that in there. Take your lid and stick it over the top. Now if you cheat like I used to be, another way to do this is get aluminum foil. I double wrap it. Ball it into a little ball. Pour your wood chips into the aluminum foil, wrap it all the way up, close it, and poke holes in the top with like a toothpick or, or the tip of a knife. Poke holes in and stick that on the charcoal, and that'll do the same thing that this does. Cheap way, until you can get your money up to buy you one of these. These cheap, man, maybe maybe no more than $10. Hadn't bought it in a while, but anyway, another way to do it. But anyway, like I said, we about to put this meat on and get to cooking. Let's do it. All right, y'all, we back. Let me get you a close-up of what we got going on. 
Can you tell which one got mustard on there? This one got oil on that virgin oil. See the difference in the colors on them? Different seasons, but the season ain't what, what got the color like that. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on this grill. As you can see, give you a close up of this, uh, I don't know if you can see it. A little close up of the uh, slow and sear. And all I'm gonna do is just put these on, on this side, no water. We're gonna let them go and just cook until I feel like they done. I got my uh, probe I'm gonna utilize today. Utilize. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on this and uh, see what it do. Remember, when you're using something like this or, or you're doing an uh, offset, or you always wanna put your, your holes the holes from your, uh, right here, from your Weber top, on top of the meat, which is not uh, right above the uh, fire. The reason being is, if, if I was to turn this around, my charcoal over here, and the heat would just come straight out of the, out of the top. So I want the heat to come over here and come out of the, the uh, whatever you call it, the damper or whatnot. Uh, so my heat comes up. And then it comes out, right? Remember, heat rises. So obviously, if I had to turn the top around here, heat comes straight out of here, and my meat would take forever to cook. Anyway, we're gonna let this cook, and then uh, I'm gonna let it sit for about uh, three hours. We're gonna come back and check it, and then I'm gonna show you what it looked like. I forgot one last thing. Remember, we talked about them cold, uh, not cold, but the uh, chips, apple chips. All I'm gonna do is. And keep this in mind too, this is another slick way to do it. Instead of sticking it right in the charcoal, because I got it packed full, I can stick it right on top. And it'll do the same thing, because the heat's going to, and I'll probably get more smoke that way instead of it sitting right on the charcoal. And we're just going to let it do what it do. Anyway, like I said, we'll see you in three hours. Peace. All right, y'all. It's been about an hour and 30 minutes. Let me show you what these things look like. Woo. Yes, sir. See the bottom? Getting nice and toasty. That bacon. Stick some toothpicks in this one just because it was uh the, the bacon was sticking up. I just stick them in here and let them keep going, y'all. Got more time to roll. Just a quick snapshot. See you in about another hour and a half. All right, YouTube, let's see what the final product looks like. It's been about uh, another hour and a half. I fell asleep on this doggone thing. Let's see what's going on. Oh, damn. Still look good. Bacon a little charred up, but not too bad, actually. We'll take this thing in the house and cut it up real quick. Show y'all the final product. You see, I can give y'all a close up. Anyway, I'm gonna take it in the house and then show y'all. Oh, real quick, let me show you what this is. Remember, we was talking about these uh wood chips. You get a close up of that. See that? That's how your wood just turned to uh dark, dark colored wood. So all I'm gonna do now is flip this over. In my grate just because uh, I want to go ahead and burn it out. That one won't have to uh, go have to, I don't have to uh, dump nothing. I'll dump it in there. As you can tell, got some skills handling this little, little pitchfork, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'll let that burn on out and then uh. I'm about to preserve my charcoal, so I'm going to put the lid on, show y'all this real quick. Another fun fact for the day. That's going to burn out. All I do is close the lid and take my bottom gauge and close it all the way. In a little while, I'm going to have some charcoal in there. It's going to be cool to the touch and maybe about eh, 
three hours of cooking. But anyway, let's go on into this house so y'all can see this product. I'm gonna cut it in half so show y'all what the inside of it look like because I'm curious myself. All right, YouTube, here we go. Man, this thing smells so good. It's ridiculous. Go cut it in half. Show you what the inside look like. Uh oh, I'm knocking that over. Man, look at that. I don't know if you can. Let me get a close up so you can see that smoke ring. Let me see if we can get a close up on. Look at that smoke ring. Look at that smoke ring. Ooh, you talking about some skills? That's crazy. Sorry about that bumping. Uh, my foot was caught up in the doggone little thing. Let me show you that smoke ring one more time. Let it zoom in. Let's see if I can click the screen. Get a little closer. Ooh, look at that right there. See the pan sausage? This pork chop, y'all. That deep colored and I'm gonna show you this ain't no joke show you this ain't no joke Let's see if we can get another close-up look at that Ooh, woo. hold on let's go and cut the other one in and see what it looked like I got two picks in this and uh just to hold the bacon together I'm gonna cut it Real simple. Let's see if that that ring is in this one. Not as dark as the other one. Maybe the season got something to do with it, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Let me see if I can get y'all a little closer up with that. I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me. Look at that. Ooh, I'm finna tear this up as soon as it cool off. And then go from there. Here go the other piece just so you can see. Anyway, this your boy, Mr. B. From Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And holler at your boy. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you ever had this before. And does it look like this? Holla.